7 a.m. Eastern Time. That's when Laura Ling and Yuna Lee are expected to be back in the United States, landing at the Burbank, California airport. The two journalists have spent the last several months in a North Korean prison camp, and they're now on their way home. Lee and Ling were arrested near the North Korean-Chinese border in March while reporting for Current TV, a media company founded by former Vice President Al Gore. They were then sentenced in June to 12 years of hard labor for illegal entry and engaging in hostile acts. On Tuesday, former President Bill Clinton traveled to the communist nation, meeting with leader Kim Jong-il. In return, Kim pardoned the women and released them. They boarded a plane, met the former president, and left the communist north a short time later. I'm very thankful for the government for doing well, all they can to uh, gain the release. I, I think Bill Clinton played a large role in it. Well, Mrs. Clinton did too, and uh, Bill Clinton is the logical person to go over. Families of the two journalists gathered late Tuesday preparing to see their loved ones for the first time in months. They said they were overjoyed by the pardon. I am so happy. I'm so excited. I have not slept for three days now. You know, I'm just so happy. Can't wait. We're counting minutes, counting hours. <laughs> Clinton's meeting with Kim was the first time a prominent Western figure has met with him since he reportedly suffered a stroke a year ago. Photos of the meeting show Kim smiling while Clinton stared straight ahead, showing little sign of emotion. North Korean state-run media described Clinton's talks with Kim Jong-il as wide-ranging and exhaustive, while the White House emphasized Clinton's trip as a private one. For the North Koreans, all things American are tied together. Look at who met the uh, President Clinton at the airport. It was the North Korean nuclear negotiator. So clearly the North Koreans see this as connected, as of course it is. The Lee and Ling families thanked President Obama, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and the State Department for securing their relatives' release. In a statement, the family said they're counting the seconds until they can hold their loved ones again. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.